The graduate employees at the U of O want to put some pressure on the school. They're upset about proposed budget cuts and tuition hikes. And KZI 9 News reporter Jillian Smuckler is live to show us why they held a sit-in today. Jillian? Renee, they're fighting back against proposed budget cuts, benefit reductions, and tuition hikes. And actually, moments ago, students and staff just left Johnson Hall. And keep in mind, they've been here since 10 o'clock this morning, and they tell me they're willing to do whatever it takes to get the administration to change their mind. If they're going to make poor decisions about their budget, why should it be the most vulnerable members of our community that are going to suffer, especially when we're the ones really performing the mission of the university? Time's ticking for the University of Oregon's administration to make a decision, and graduate employees and students aren't holding back. They tell me the plan put in place by the Board of Trustees and President Schill in order to balance their budget is unacceptable. The reason I came to the University of Oregon is because they really sold me on this idea that they cared about us, that they would take care of us. One of the biggest sells was the health insurance, which is a really big deal for me. Many graduate employees tell me they want a fair contract, but so far they say their voices haven't been heard. That's why they decided to sit in today. They say they no longer want to be just numbers to the administration. Rather, they want to show them how real people are being affected. We have to have a degree to do anything with our lives. And it's becoming a luxury that's also a necessity. And that's not okay. Many students tell me they shouldn't have to fight to get an education. They say the university budget crisis is targeting students and graduate employees rather than fixing the root of the issue. And tomorrow, there will be a rally right here outside of Johnson Hall at noon, focusing on what they call solidarity against austerity. Reporting live in Eugene, Jillian Smuckler, KEZI 9 News.